Okay, I'm here in a new setting. Uh, it's all around our living room, uh, but I thought here is the nice uh, match plan uh, that I got from a magazine here. Uh, and wow, that's the first real wow. The 3 3 Portugal Spain, that was wow because of the game. This is the wow because of the result. Germany loses to Mexico 1 0. Uh, the first time since 1982 that Germany lost the opener against Algeria. Then they made it all. Uh, last time they did not win was 1986, 1-1 against Uruguay, which uh, they said it was a very similar game, except that Germany made the late equalizer this time. They also made it to the final. So uh, it's not that everything's lost for Germany, but they didn't look quite right. For about 60 minutes, Germany was not on the field. Uh, or, yeah, they were on the field uh, just in person, but then there was no the team. Mexico really attacked them from the beginning with a fluid attacking style. Um, they used the spaces that Germany gave them. They actually forced Germany into errors. Uh, and the first goal was actually only a matter of time. Against a German team, that's more or less unheard of, I got, uh, gotta honestly say. Then in the second half, um, yeah, took a little while and then Germany got it going, uh, but I think it took them until the 70th minute until I really thought that there's something there and uh, until the 89th, until they had a real chance. Uh, it reminded me of two games, uh, Iceland-Argentina yesterday, uh, where Mexico then really had tight two uh, chains, very tight uh, at their own box. Uh, Germany had a really hard time getting through. So that was well done on the part of Mexico. The only thing that could have been done better by Mexico is that they, on the counter they should have made uh, at least a second goal. I think they, their chances were definitely there for that. Um, I still felt that this is like Germany always makes the late equalizer. They didn't. Uh, they were close. Julian Brandt was really, really close. I mean, that ball was going right for the corner and then the uh, last second went out of it. Uh, but I think overall it was a deserved win for Mexico. Now, does it come out of nowhere? Not really. Germany just didn't look right for this year, actually. Against Spain, they got a lucky draw. Against Brazil, they lost one nothing. but then they didn't play with the first team there. Uh, when they lost to Austria, a similar story. Uh, they looked good. Austria didn't see the ball for 20 minutes. And then suddenly Austria managed with pressing to disrupt the German play and get something and even got a win, even though the first team was not playing. Uh, Leroy Sané was playing back then, but uh, didn't do anything in that game. So I'm not as surprised that Sané is not in the team. Uh, also with the backstory uh, that, you know, he didn't go to the Confederations Cup. Um, and I still think Yogi Löw prefers players from the Bundesliga rather than the Premier League. I think they are more his style. Um, I think he likes his players to be a little bit more um, on the floor and not like the big Premier League stars. I really have that feeling. Personally, I think Yogi Löw is a great coach. And with him, Germany became a team that is not universally disliked. Um, and that's something to say, even for me, I, Germany is the one team that I won't have anything to do with. I dislike Germany as much as any other team, but as, as of late, they play attractive soccer. They fully deserved winning that World Cup four years ago, and I think they have been really convincing all over the place. So uh, that is a surprise to me that they lost today, I actually had them packed for a 3 nothing win. So not all my predictions go right, and yeah, here I was completely wrong. Um, what I was surprised was Plattenhardt. I never heard of that guy before. Yes, I don't follow the Bundesliga as closely, um, uh, especially time permitting. I rather choose my favorite teams that I watch, and that's usually uh, Italy and Spain, so Serie A and Pre uh, Primera División that I watch. But I never heard of a guy, and I always thought at least all German national team players I should know. So that was a little bit surprising to me that uh, this guy came out of nowhere. Uh, what's wrong with Germany? I know there's some inner turmoil and also external turmoil, but I actually think it's the fact that it's another world champion that maybe relies a little bit too much on the glory players, although Löw is not 
rely as much as say um, Lippi for Italy for uh, eight years ago or Del Bosque but there is some trouble with uh, reigning world champions uh, France was eliminated in 2002 uh, without doing anything yes Zidane was injured uh, and that might have caused something but still came a little bit out of nowhere 2006 Brazil was everything but still uh, they were lucky to be in an easy group and have a Kaká in a somewhat decent form uh, and then yeah if you have Japan that you can beat up on then just you still had Ronaldo I mean just the class of the players made sure that they made it to the quarterfinals but in the quarterfinals against France there was no sh uh, it was an absolute no show this uh, great Brazilian team of time uh, then uh, Italy completely disappointed and typically Italian fashion was a lot of drama going out of that World Cup Spain uh, had a tough group but also they they finally succumbed and someone found out it needs a lot of speed to beat the German, uh, the Spanish team and now I think something similar is happening to Germany although uh, Löw is making the transition I still think uh, but that's not a uh, conjecture the, if he would have nominated the same squad that he did a year ago for the Confederations Cup where it was all young players that are hungry he might have actually have a better chance, but of course sell that tool to the media to not have Hummels, Özil, Kroos uh, uh, there. But I have an inkling that this might have been better, but it's pure conjecture. Lastly, kit matchup. Classic matchup. I liked it. Except that Mexico was maybe a little bit too dark, but Red Sox for Mexico. Really good. Take that. I mean, France should have played in Red Sox yesterday. Mexico did. They look great. Yeah. I get more and more to the point where uh, green shirts with the green grass there is maybe a little bit something missing but overall I really like the matchup both classic color matchup if not Mexico had bright greens and bright red socks it would have been perfect but that's how I like it both teams in their classic kits even with um, you know Germany white shirt black shorts Mexico dark green shirt white shorts so you even have that uh, switch within the colors there and it looks uh, wonderful I want to see more of that I didn't like when Blatter came up with the idea that we have to have all one color kits soccer is not the NBA where they have all unicolor kits soccer there's uh, a tradition of having the kids either resemble the flags former flags or at least there's there's some some change to it I still don't like when Italy played like all blue or France plays in blue with red uh, shorts the Germany kit uh, four years ago actually looked decent but I still like Germany with uh, black shorts better it's just what you gotta you get used to the other thing uh, I want to say on the kits and this is now not as I'm not as serious about that but uh, four years ago the Germany kit with this V here it was all white but it had this red V here was inspired by the 1990 World Cup winning kit and seemingly they wanted to do the same thing here and they went actually for the almost the same design except flip it and make it monochrome uh, to again have this happening and I repeat 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 they think uh, it makes a success it was the same thing with France for uh, longest time in 98 they won with the same design as in 84 so they thought that's the winning design then in 2000 for the Euros they just made the red stripe here still my favorite France kit um, they won it uh, in 2002 they had an all blue kit which actually looked decent but they, they crashed out so we went back to the red strap for 2004 where we didn't do much except we had two exciting games uh, at the beginning of the tournament uh, 2006 a similar design as here but actually the, they were very really awakened again with the stripe here some French flag stuff so I guess this helped them and finally in 2008 they made a really weird design with red didn't do anything I thought it's done and dusted and then they come up with uh, the kit for South Africa but the away kit looked wonderful and the home kit is used the same design as the 98 and 84 kit just in navy blue and it kind of faded away and yeah I don't know if Adidas would have uh, continued with a 
for us it was still used that design. I want to have red on my front shirt, but that got ridiculous. This was just overused and regurgitating a design. Yes, that it helped, but it was not the kit that it did it. And I hope that Germany doesn't do the same mistake now. That they over and over again with the big flag on the front that they do that. Please stay, keep it normal. Uh, I think you had a great kit in 2006. Uh, actually, I got a 2016. Um, I actually thought that the kit in uh, 2014 it grew on me. It looks better now than it did back then, but because you get have to get used to the white shorts and this chevron here. But it didn't. It doesn't look as bad now. I have to say. But I thought. Everything in this decade looked decent for Germany. 2010 looked decent, 2012 looked decent, 2016. Actually, this current kit is probably my least favorite one. Nah, maybe the 2014 one. Although it had, nah, I would say the 2014, it had at least some color on it. So, for that reason. Well, let me know what you think about Mexico beating Germany. I didn't give no much, much credit to Mexico. They deserve all the credit. It's just I'm a little bit closer talking to Germany than uh, about Mexico. Uh, no offense taken, I think Mexico fully deserved that win. They had a great tactical plan that was well executed. And then the way they played defense, respect. Lots of respect. Uh, now they got to keep, keep it up and see what Brazil will do. Maybe we'll get a Germany-Brazil round of 16 matchup. Maybe Germany will crash out. Uh, Almost an ultimate dream scenario for me, but then I always said I want Germany to at least go to the semifinals so that they have someone to cheer against. Again, uh, I'm soft a little bit on Germany of late, uh, but they're still uh, the team I love most to hate. So in that sense, uh, I'm somewhat happy that they lost. Uh, although I was would have been much happier, let's say, 10 years ago or so. Still, I'm quite happy about that. And uh, it makes for an intriguing tournament. As I said, I softened on Germany because I actually like Yogi Löw. I think he's a really, really good coach. I followed him since uh, when he went with Stuttgart in the mid '90s. Uh, I really like the style of play he has. And for that reason, I'm not as much against Germany as I used to. Well, I'm gonna watch the interview with Yogi Löw now, and let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, about Germany's loss, about Mexico's win, about what I said about the kit and the Germany kit and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.